you guys so this is going to be a new tutorial on how to create YouTube thumbnails in Premiere Pro and After Effects so I'm going to be showing you guys a couple different styles of thumbnails yeah and I'll show you how to export them as well so let's get started so if you want to select a frame from your video just go to that frame and then we're going to create a new title by clicking command T it asks me what I wanted to call it I'm just going to leave it as that and then I'm going to press OK and then the title window pops up. So now we could just type our text and just you can start with a bigger size. I'm just going to call it YouTube thumbnail. To make it personal, I like to use the same font for everything and I always use my favorite font which is the next font. I strongly suggest that you guys pick your own font so that you kind of make yourself more unique and stand out like when everyone has the same Sam Coder font it kind of gets overused and you don't really stand out so I kind of suggest you guys pick your own font so I'm just gonna use this font called Expressway we can go down to the center box and then we can press these two buttons so that it centers our image from horizontal and vertical so you can see that it's centered now now what I like to do is add shadow so that it stands out more Look at that, it makes black shadow so it kind of stands out way more. And then you can adjust the font size over here and up here. Okay, so let's say I have another line, I'm just going to say how to. Um, in this box right here, you can press this box so that everything is centered. And let's also just copy this and this VA marking, you can spread out the letters or make it closer together. So some people like to have theirs spread apart but I kind of just like it normal and then with this one you can adjust the second line to go bottom or closer to your top line okay you can also change the color over here if you notice a lot of my text in my thumbnails are yellow and this is because yellow pops out of every single image like it's the brightest color which is why I always use the color yellow see look at that it like pops out because it's such a bright color Okay, I'm just going to show you one style of thumbnail that you can use. Um, I use this in like my very first thumbnail. So I'm just going to make it one line. So I'm just going to keep it at YouTube thumbnail. And then I'm going to drag it over my video. You could also adjust the scale over here if you want so that it is bigger. But now I'm going to create another new text by pressing Command T. I'm going to name the solid and then I can use this rectangle tool to create a rectangle and I'm just going to copy it till the end of the letters and I can make it white but I can also make it black which is another style and then I'm going to drag that to the top but then I'm going to drag my other text layer on top of that and then adjust it to the bottom so that my text is on top of the white solid. So now I can change the color of this text because it doesn't look good on a white background. So I'm going to change it to black. And then I'm also going to change the font to Beboss New and take off the shadow on this. And then I'm going to go back to my solid and I'm going to adjust the size of the rectangle so that it fits right outside of the Y and the L. So now you can see it has this like, I don't know, like Tumblr look, I feel, I don't know. Um, so yeah, this is a good thumbnail idea. You could also adjust the scale over here and over here so that you make it a bit bigger. But yeah, that's my first thumbnail idea. So when you want to export it, so you can go to this camera icon over here and then we can press that button and then it will say export frame. You can change the name of the thumbnail and then go into my desktop and you can change it over here. And then we can press OK and then it'll be at my desktop ready to upload on YouTube. Okay, I'm going to show you how you could do this in After Effects as well. So I have After Effects open right here and I have my clip that I want to use. And I'm going to show you how to put your letters behind me for your thumbnail. So let's create a new text layer by going to layer and text. And then I'm just going to type out thumbnail again. And what I like to do over here is go to effects and presets and search up drop shadow because I can't seem to find a shadow shadow button in After Effects. I don't know if you guys know, but yeah, I just use drop shadow. And then I put it on top of my text layer and then it creates a shadow. So now I'm going to go to my clip and I'm going to press Command D to duplicate it. And then with my top layer, I'm just going to mask out my body so that the text goes behind me. 
and you don't have to do the whole body you just do it, you just want to do it where you want the text to go so i finished masking it now and then as you can see i'm only using a small portion of my body then i'm going to drag that clip on top of the thumbnail so now you can see that the text is behind me and then you could just move it around to different places to make it look good so yeah that's kind of just how you create that look if you want in your thumbnails what I also like to do sometimes is I like to go to layer and new solid and I like to create I'll make it yellow and then I will go to the rectangle tool and then I'll create a rectangle but I'll leave some of the edges out and then I like to go to the mask and then press subtract so now you can see it has like a yellow border on the outline of our thumbnail which I really like the look of cuz I don't know it stands out <laughs> okay I'm gonna show you one more style so I have my clip right here and I'm going to create a new solid so go to layer a new solid and then I'm just gonna keep that color and then I'm gonna go to effects and presets and search up turbulent displacement and then I'm gonna change the complexity to 10 and then I'm gonna use the rectangle tool and create a little rectangle so does this remind you of a video I just made? Yeah, it's the paint stroke effect. So I have this little paint stroke and I'm just gonna center it as best as I can. And then I'm also gonna add drop shadow to this so it kind of stands out. And then I'm gonna create my new text. So I'm just gonna make it thumbnail. And then you don't wanna use the same color of course. So I'm just gonna use um, white. No, I think red looks good. So yeah, you have this like little paint stroke and um, you can just adjust the colors to make it what you want and kind of just personalize it. I think it looks pretty cool. Okay, now I'm gonna just add color grading because you always need to have color grading in your thumbnail. I feel like thumbnails with not much coloring, at least put the contrast up. But yeah, I feel like thumbnail with not much color grading doesn't really stand out. So I'm just gonna add some Lumetri color and then just put a LUT on there. But usually your footage should already have color grading anyway, so you don't have to do this. But I'm just showing you in the case of this thumbnail. I'm just telling you a tip that you should probably have coloring in your thumbnail. Okay, so when it's time to export your frame, you want to go drag the bar where you want to export. And then we can change the quality to full. Um, and then we can go to composition, save frame as, file, and then we can change the output module to JPEG sequence, and then it says output to, you could change the, the name of it, and you could also change the location, but it's going to my desktop. And then I'm going to press render. So now if we go to my desktop, we see my thumbnail right here. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.